Hi and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing good. Today's video is going to be based around GAN and the latest earnings report which was released after market close on August the 16th. We'll take a look to see how they are progressing on generating revenue growth, the key takeaways from the report as well as what else could be in the pipeline for them. If you're new here and enjoy this video please drop it a like, leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel. GAN beat on top line growth coming in at $34.63 million which is up 316% year over year, beating analyst expectations by 100k. Bottom line missed by 0.06 with GAP EPS coming in at minus 0.07. Still got a good bit of cash on the sidelines of 52.1 million and full year guidance still looks to generate between 125 and 135 million for the end of the year. Before we get into the latest earnings report, let's take a jump back in time to July 7th when GAN announced their preliminary earnings were going to exceed analyst expectations. This gave the stock a huge pop of 18% on this positive news. The earnings report then got released and pretty much follows the same information as we expected. So this was seen as good news a month ago, but right now the stock is down between 10 and 15%. So let's dive into the report to digest the information and see if we can see any red flags that they could merit this sell-off or is the bull thesis still intact and this could be a good buying opportunity. Q2 revenue came in at $34.6 million with a net loss of $2.7 million and adjusted EBITDA is $4.6 million. GAN's business is divided into two segments, which is their B2B segment, Business to Business, which revolves around their casino and gaming business, and then we have the B2C segment, their Business to Consumer, which is more aligned with their cool bet and sporting business. Business to consumer makes up about two thirds of this revenue, which I think will be the trend going forward and it shows how successful the purchase of Coolbet has been as it's generated good revenue straight away. The revenue has been broken down into geography and what I find quite in interesting here is that Europe makes up most of the revenue just now, which is more of a mature sports betting market. So the way I see this developing over the next two to five years is I expect the US Latin and the rest of the world to overtake Europe quite substantially over time, although I would expect Europe to still generate fairly decent growth, but the other areas is where I really see the long-term prospects. B2B gross operator revenue is slightly up quarter over quarter, but the market share has dropped a few points which isn't great news. On the other side however, we have B2C side which is up the huge active customer growth from 112,000 up to 187,000, which is the standout takeaway for me in this page. The customer growth is always has to be the most important aspects of a growing company and I really see this as a positive indicator. Now on to the key takeaways and let's have a look at what other growth opportunities are out there for GAN. The first point I have highlighted is that they mentioned GAN Sports will be debuting at G2E which is the Global Gaming Expo and it takes place between the 4th and the 7th of October this year and is another up in Las Vegas. They're then looking to get their first client here. And in 2022, that's when they'll be launching GAN Sports. So yeah, for me, I really like the sound of this, as I feel that the sports way is the, is the way to go to generate high revenue growth in the future. The second section I have highlighted is that they're still on the lookout for potential high return on investment opportunities out there. And if they can get anything that works out as well as a cool bet acquisition, then this could set them up nicely. Also, a little note there at the bottom, it says they're including Canada. So who knows, that might be where they're looking at next. And the last point here is that they've opened up a new tech hub in Miami to enhance our talent pool to provide new products and meet their client demands. And as I've said, the, the GAN sports betting system that will be rolling out next year, this is the key takeaway for me for, for the, all of the earning report, as this is the real growth driver going forward that I can see. The casino and gaming growth over the coming years will be good, but entering more into the sports wager inside the business is, is where it can really unlock the full potential. The results Cool Bet's had so far has been really impressive and building on that strength could be a huge revenue generator going forward. Especially now sports are operating pretty much in the same level as pre-COVID schedules and being from the UK and involved in a sports betting culture, I can't stress enough how bullish I see this product. The last point on the financials here, we have the full story for the quarter and let's have a little skim through it. Revenue growth overall up quarter over quarter, with the B2C being the standout revenue generator. Total gross profit margin pretty consistent, sitting around the 70 to 75% range. More money getting put into sales and marketing as you would expect within a grown company. Product and technology spend is actually down, which I find quite interesting, as you would expect with this new betting system, they'd have more money deployed in that, unless the backbone of this was completed in previous quarters. And at the very bottom, we can see the net loss improving year over year, quarter over quarter, so hopefully in the not so distant future, the net income can find itself within the green. So after reading the report, where do I stand on this stock? I think it's a buy and I think any weakness shown with due to earnings reports 
could be a, a good buying opportunity as we're still at such an early stage of the gaming industry development. We need to remember where we are in the grand scheme of things and this is the forecast out to 2028 and it shows the growth path that the sports betting industry is expected to follow. From where we're at just now and in eight years the expectations is expected that it will be up fivefold from where we're at just now and it will likely continue in the same vein going further out. For me, I'm happy to remain a shareholder of GAN. I would love to buy some more, but I don't want to make it too large a position on my portfolio. So that'll conclude the video, guys. If you're still here, thanks for watching. We'd love to know your comments on this stock, and I'll catch you in the next video.